This is question 121. Calculate operating profit ratio in each of the following alternative cases. Case 1, 121. Case 1, operating profit ratio is equal to operating profit upon net sales into 100. The figures are directly given. Rupees 1 lakh 50,000 upon rupees 10 lakh into 100 is equal to 15 percent. Case 2. Here revenue from operations and operating cost are given. We will be finding operating net profit upon net sales into 100. That is equal to operating profit ratio is equal to operating profit upon net sales into 100. That is equal to net sales minus operating cost. This will give us operating profit upon net sales into 100. That is equal to rupees 6 lakh minus rupees 5 lakh 10,000 whole divided by rupees 6 lakhs into 100. That is equal to rupees 90,000 upon rupees 6 lakhs into 100. That is equal to 15 percent. Case 3. Case 3 is revenue from operations, gross profit on sales, operating expenses are given. Now, working notes. Net sales is equal to cost of goods sold plus gross profit. That is equal to implies that net sales is equal to cost of goods sold plus net sales into 20 by 100 because gross profit in case 3 is 20 percent on sales. Hence, we will be multiplying 20 percent to net sales implies that rupees 3,60,000 is equal to cost of goods sold plus rupees 3,60,000 multiplied by 20 percent implies that cost of goods sold is equal to rupees 2,88,000. This is cost of goods sold. Now, operating profit is equal to net sales minus cost of goods sold minus operating expenses. That is equal to rupees 3,60,000 minus rupees 2,88,000 minus rupees 18,000 is equal to rupees 54,000. That 54,000 is operating profit. Now, in the fair notes, operating profit ratio is equal to operating profit upon net sales into 100 that is rupees 54,000 upon rupees 3,60,000 into 100 is equal to 15 percent. Case 4. In the case for we have revenue from operations, cost of revenue from operations and operating expenses is given. Now, operating profit ratio is equal to operating profit upon net sales into 100. That is equal to net sales minus cost of goods sold minus operating expenses whole divided by net sales into 100 that is equal to rupees 4,50,000 minus rupees 3,60,000 minus operating expenses 22,500 whole divided by rupees 4,50,000 into 100 that is equal to 67,500 upon rupees 4,50,000 into 100 that is equal to 15%. Then case 5, cost of goods sold is given. Cost of goods sold, that is cost of revenue from operations is given. Gross profit is 20% on sales, but sales is not given. Then operating expenses is given. We are supposed to find out operating profit ratio. That is equal to case 5, working notes. Total sales is equal to cost of goods sold plus gross profit. Because through this equation, we can find out sales. It is gross profit and sales is given, but in the question, cost of goods sold is given. Sales is not given. Implies that total sales is equal to cost of goods sold plus total sales into 20 percent because gross profit is 20 percent of total sales. That is equal to x is equal to rupees 8 lakh plus x by 5 implies that ax minus x by 5 is equal to rupees 8 lakhs implies that 5x minus x by 5 is equal to rupees 8 lakhs implies that x is equal to rupees 8 lakh multiplied by 5 by 4 implies that total sales is equal to rupees 10 lakhs now 
नेट सेल्स इज इक्वल टू टेन लैक्स और नेट रेवेन्यू फ्रॉम ऑपरेशन इज रुपीज टेन लैक्स हियर इन द फेयर नोट्स ऑपरेटिंग प्रॉफिट रेशियो इज इक्वल टू ऑपरेटिंग प्रॉफिट अपन नेट सेल्स इन टू हंड्रेड दैट इज इक्वल टू नेट सेल्स माइनस कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड माइनस ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंसिस अपन नेट सेल्स इन टू हंड्रेड दैट इज इक्वल टू रुपीज टेन लैक्स माइनस रुपीज एट लैक्स माइनस रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड होल डिवाइडेड बाई रुपीज टेन लैक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाई हंड्रेड दैट इज इक्वल टू रुपीज वन लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड अपन रुपीज टेन लैक्स इन टू हंड्रेड दैट इज फिफ्टीन परसेंट 